Hi, I'm Gene Banks, and I am the special advisor and assistant to the president, Dr. John Hoosier. How I came to being here was the fact that one time I was at a luncheon, and I was coming here to visit Gastonia in concerns with the baseball team. And it turned out that I was sitting there at this table with many dignitaries from the uh, Gastonia and Gaston County area, and Dr. John Hoosier was sitting across, and he had mentioned something about bringing a mission of bringing athletics to Gaston College. Right then and there, we were talking, and next thing I know, I said, I got something for you. I took my phone, I handed it to him, and I had made a call to one of their most illustrious alumni, Leonard Hamilton, who is now the head coach at Florida State. Leonard Hamilton had played here uh, back in the early 60s, 50s and 60s, and he's gone on to do great things. He's now the head coach of Florida State uh, Basketball, the Seminoles, and the ACC. So he was very, very surprised and uh, with myself and also a friend of mine, partner John Horshack, got into a conversation and John Horshack was the one who convinced me to come and put my legacy and my hand on bringing athletics back to Gaston College. This is the basic fact of how it all began. Now, now by me being here, it has been very, very wonderful of the journeys that I've gone and dealt with here, uh, as well as meeting some fantastic people. Gaston College has some amazing uh, educators and some amazing people that have worked here without athletics. Now, we brought in some people like uh, Sean Doty, who has done a fantastic job with the baseball team, uh, where at one time he was just working at a batting cage. But he also has the history and credit of working, uh, making Justin Verlander one of the Cy Young winners. <clears throat> then we brought in a Dickie Nutt, who has a history of certain things as far as his family. Brothers played in the NBA. Dickie Nutt coached at uh, division, division levels of basketball. And we had some success with that. More than anything else, I'm glad to have been able to put my hand as a triangle, as a president would say to myself and another person named John, that we were the triangle of developing uh, athletics here at Gaston College. I'm glad that Gaston College has gone on to do some great things. The baseball team has been ranked in the NJCAA. The cross country team has really risen to do some fantastic things. And uh, it's just gonna get grow and be better. But more so than anything else, it's important that we have athletics for the students to not just have something of a community of com com excuse me, camaraderie, as we would say, and team friendship. So that's the good thing about it, that what's great for Gaston College is having, making a community that we can all have something to support and love. Growing up for me in Philadelphia, I grew up in South Philadelphia and then moved to West Philadelphia. Everybody thinks that I was basically in West Philadelphia. <clears throat> At the time of growing in, my mother and father, my father was in the, uh, the, 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 the Air Force, I'm sorry, and my mother was working what she could do as much as she could possibly do uh, during those times, and we lived in the projects. And then we moved from the projects to South Philadelphia. Uh, each, each time it got better and better and, uh, as far as uh, job situations. And uh, I spent some time living with my grandfather, who was the greatest hero I've ever had in my life. And uh, more than anything else, what he has done is instilled in me the love of people, the love of God, and, and just uh, going forward and, and making sure that life will continue to be better for me. Never, st never strive for, uh, what I would say, you, you want to strive for excellence, but you don't want to strive for stupidity. So he was always instilling that into me. And I've been very, very fortunate to have uh, gone on to become the number one high school player in America back in my time in 1977, and then also have the chance to be able to choose a school like a, an institute like Duke University uh, that was in last place for four or five years, and I was able to go there in one year and make them a national power. So, I mean, I'm not a big center or anything like that, but what I brought with me was the integrity of what I grew up from, my, my, my neighborhood, my family, and what my high school coach taught me and my teammates. And, uh, now Duke is that national power. I was that pioneer to, to show other black young men that they can go to an institute like Duke and make it and do well. I got into sports, I didn't really like basketball. I was more of a baseball and track and field type of guy when I was a young guy, I would say maybe ninth and 10th grade. Uh, my dad was a basketball player to the point where uh, he would go out and play and I would go with him. Didn't like basketball at all. Um, so. Uh, the one thing he did more so for me than anything else was that <clears throat> after he got finished playing, he would throw the ball at me and 
and uh, he and I would just be son and son and father, just playing around with the basketball, and, and that made me start to like the game. Uh, every chance he went out, I wanted to jump out with him, but he wasn't taking me out to learn how to play like AAU coaches and, and AAU moms and dads do now. It was just the, the love of father and son, and then I started growing, and he would put me on his team, even though I was the worst of all the old heads. I was a young boy, so it got me to love the game. And uh, by me playing against the older guys and playing with guys my age, I was a little bit far advanced. My time with Michael Jordan was really interesting because the year before I played with them, I had to guard him. I was playing with the San Antonio Spurs, and uh, I'm a power forward, but nobody else wanted to guard him. <laughs> so, you know, uh, but I could play defense. So the year before, which was in, uh, I think it was 84, 85, uh, I had, they, they put me to guard him. He was, that was his rookie year. And then just to think the year, next year, I get traded to the Chicago Bulls and become a teammate to play uh, with one of the greatest players of all time. Out to Jordan, Michael Jordan in the front court. Jordan on the move against Wingate, spins left of the lane, hooks pass center to Ben. Oh! They double Jordan out of high left and Banks was wide open for the dunk. It's 9-4 Bulls. And the one thing I learned about Michael Jordan that was fantastic and that people don't really know, Michael Jordan practices game. When he was at practice, he played practice like it was the last thing on earth. Uh, he's a type of player that when he goes into practice, he gives it his all, he works hard, uh, and the games become easy for him. And that's the thing that I like about uh, the history about Michael Jordan playing with him. When you went on the practice floor, when he crossed, he would stand at the lines, chew gum, crack jokes. Once he crossed a line for practice, it was on. Uh, I played also with Charles Oakley and we would, we would beat him up. I mean, we would beat him. And I saw some moves that Michael Jordan done in practices that he hadn't even done in the game. So it was a privilege. And I, I, I thank God that I had the opportunity to play with uh, a player such as his magnitude and such as his ability. The Thunder and Rhino Sports Review with Gene Banks is, is, is a great idea of me working with the uh, radio station here, which is collaborated with the college. Uh, reason One of the reasons why my experience is because I had my own podcast, the, Gene, uh, the Bank Shot, which was doing very well and was nationally and internationally known. And uh, the president and I sat down and talked about shifting from athletic director to being his advisor, as well as taking on with the, the, the WSGE uh, radio station and help with that and then we came up with an idea uh, Kathis Hall and, and Reagan Brown we all sat around and we came up with the idea of having the sports program added to the radio station it's been fantastic it's been wonderful and one of the things we try to do more than anything else is promote Gas and College athletics and we have done that we will continue on doing that Gas and College has done really great with their student athletes and their coaches and uh, before, besides talking about the Panthers and the Hornets in this area of Gaston College, uh, Gaston County, I'm sorry, uh, we try to be more so of giving uh, acknowledgement to the, the special people that grew up here and gone on to do things. So that's, we're promoting, at least my show, what I want to do, promoting the people like the Sleepy Floyds and, and, and the Chris, Chris Langs and, and the Sylvia Hatchers and the Takata Murphys. Uh, these are people that people don't even know about and they've gone on and done great things. And that's what the story with the Thunder Rhino Sports Review is all about. And I'm gonna promote every single person that has come, come through here, whether they're high or low, uh, students, uh, because they all have something that's really special that comes out of this county.